Okay, so I wanted to show you how to use a circle maker if you have one and also how to set up your mandala. So I went ahead and found the center of my paper using a ruler and when I did I made a little circle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the little middle section of this circle maker and I'm going to hold that down with one finger. And then I'm going to pick how large I want my uh, for this circle to be and I want to come in on the page just a little bit so I think there is probably good and all I'm doing is moving my pencil and not my other my left hand I'm just moving my pencil okay so I want another ring on my mandala so I'm going to come in just a couple more sections and uh, do another one and then maybe a center ring for my mandala okay and that's how you use a circle maker okay I'm also deciding to split this up into different sections so that it looks a little bit more um, neat so what I'm going to do is use a ruler and this is just plain paper you guys are using drawing paper but this is just uh, copy paper so the length of the paper is eight and a half so I want to go half of that so that's going to be four and a quarter so I moved over four and a quarter and made a mark I'm going to do the same thing here four and a quarter make a mark and then I'm going to line up my ruler with those marks that I just made and then I'm going to draw my line I'm going to do the same thing on the side here. This is 11 inches long paper, so that's uh, five and a half is half. So five and a half, I'm going to make a mark and then line it up again, five and a half, make a mark. And I'm going to draw my line there and you notice I didn't want to go on in the middle circle I just wanted to do that on this outer circle I also want to do a diamond and the easiest way to do the diamond is measure like I just did and then from this point to this point draw my square this point to this point and this way you know it's going to be even this point to this point And this point to this point. All right. Okay. And then I can decide where I want um, my symbols to lie on my mandala. Okay. Um, usually the one that means the most to you, you want to put in the center. Um, or the largest one that you want to do, put in the center. So maybe for me... Um, I love to draw and paint, so mine is going to be a paintbrush. So I'm going to do a paintbrush shape first. And I'm going to have it coming all the way to the end of that circle. Okay, then I'm going to crisscross it with maybe a pencil because I like painting and drawing. But I'm bringing it all the way to the edge of the circle here. Okay. All right. And then that's two of my symbols, but it only represents art. So I'm going to consider it one. So out here, I can decide what I want to do and I'll probably do symbol pattern symbol pattern um, maybe I'll do I love the fall so I will do a couple of fall leaves And when we color these, I'd probably do them different colors. I'm going to fill that section with some fall leaves. And I would 
keep going and fill that whole section out with some leaves. So I would keep filling it. And then I could decide that I want to do a pattern in this one. And um, if you were in my class before, you probably um, did Zentangle patterns. If not, you can look up some Zentangle patterns. And those work really good with this artwork. Um, they could be anything. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. I'm going to do a double like scalloped edge here. And I'm drawing dark so that you can see it on this video. But what I want you to do is draw light. Okay. Again, I'm just making up a pattern as I'm going. Um, you can look at something and decide to um, draw from a picture if you want. But I'm just making up my pattern as I'm going along. Okay. And that's what, a lot of what Zentangle is, is you're just making up, um, you're just kind of taking a doodle and repeating that and repeating that. Um, so uh, that's why I like Zentangle, because it's kind of relaxing and, and fun. Um, I'm just going to keep going and make up a cool pattern. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, and then maybe on this side, I'm going to do another symbol. I love my dogs, so maybe I'll do a couple of paw prints on this side. And I would continue on. And then over here again, I'm going to do another pattern. Again, I'm just making it up as I'm going along. So um, you can uh, look at something and draw it. But I'm just kind of making up some cool little patterns. like them to go all the way to the edge like that okay and then in this circle um, you're gonna or this section you're gonna decide what you're gonna do you can add more symbols or you can add more patterns you can then repeat things because you have more than your three um, but I'd probably do more patterns in that one um, in this line so maybe I'll do large polka dots in this one And I'd continue on. Maybe I'll do uh, paint drips or water drips in this one. Maybe the paint's coming down here and it's dripping. And I'll uh, add color to that later. We got paint drips. We got polka dots. I would probably want to do something more sharp. So let's do some triangles. Between that, I'm going to do lines. Again, I'm just making it up. It'll probably be better if you look at something and draw. Okay. 
probably look neater than what I'm doing. And then I would do a different pattern here. I got roundy and rounded, so I'd do another like square or maybe I would do um, checkerboards over here. So I would do large lines. And then with the ruler, I can't draw a straight line, so I need rulers. Okay, and then I would do a checkerboard, and we're gonna color in this with Sharpie. So for something like this, I can just put an X where I know they're gonna be dark. So there's no need to fill it in with pencil when we have to color it in with Sharpie.